Incomplete puzzle? Check. Notebook. Check. Snazzy pink pen? Boom. Check. That means that we're ready for a video. Let's take a seat and talk about some computer science. All right. This was actually a request, a little bit of a challenge from somebody that I'm familiar with on the interwebs. Uh, asked me if I could come up with an analogy for this, a way of describing this to people. And I think it might be able to. Uh, this is for people who are just interested a little bit more in how computers work at the most fundamental level. So what I'm going to talk about is Little Indian. Oh, wait, scratch that. Little Indian versus Big Indian. Writing sure is slow. Computers are way better. Okay, so what is this little Indian, big Indian thing I'm talking about? Well, let me start off by giving you a drawing. This is really hard because I'm actually watching myself write and draw through the screen on my fancy video recording device, which is simply my cell phone. It takes a little getting used to. What I'm drawing for you right now is something really, really important. You might have heard of a Turing machine. Alan Turing was one of the chief inventors of the computer, or at least the concepts that went into creating the computer. Oh no, fancy pink pen, don't die on me now. And to Turing, this was how often the memory in his Turing machine is represented. Basically, this little thing that I just drew an arrow to, I drew it into a bad place. I meant to draw it right there, but that is a bit, a little piece of memory. The reason I bring up Turing is because you might have seen this before. Now, in modern computers, there are things called words. Words are the smallest piece of the smallest chunk of memory that a processor can be fed to work with. We don't actually feed them one bit at a time. We feed them groups of bits. And say this was a four-bit computer, a word would be these four bits right here. This would be the first word, this would be the second, third, so on and so forth. Dot, dot, dot. Now, Little Indian versus Big Indian is a concept that we introduce to define how we are storing information, how we're ordering them, when we put them in these bits. Now, when you write English, you write left to right, but not everybody does that. Some, you know, some, some languages involve writing right to left. And that's essentially what little versus big Indian is. It's, are we writing left to right, or are we writing right to left? Now these words, each bit has a memory address. Um, memory addresses, if you want to look something up, are tracked by something called the program counter. It's a register within the processor, does the very important job of picking which bit we're going to look at next. And so you can picture it as sort of a little device that numbers are fed into, you know, one, five, seven, whatever. And it would jump to the, you know, to that, that bit in memory. It, it, it would read that bit. Even though we're feeding things to the processor one word at a time, we're still able to recognize individual bits and read the memory at those locations thanks to the program counter. Now, in what we call a little Indian uh, setup, the, as you might remember from my previous video, there's this concept called the least significant bit, which is if you have a bunch of bits, you know, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero. The least significant bit, it would be the smallest bit, which in this case would be this one right here, the smallest non-zero bit. 
this represents a 4 in binary. You might know, oh, I'm sorry, represents a 2. Mistake. You might know that these are 1s, these are 2s, these are 4s, 8s, so on and so forth, by powers of 2, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the or 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, so on and so forth. In a little Indian system, what we would want to do is, is start with the smallest bit and put it in the, 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 the least significant bit and put it into the least, the lowest bit address within that word. So if we had the number, let, let's step outside of the binary realm for a second and just make things, you know, simple to think about. Let's say we had ourselves a little imaginary array here. Yay. And that array holds 10, 14, 15, 25. Basically, the question is, how are we going to write this? Are we going to write it 10, 14, 15, and 25? with the least significant bit within our array being the first thing that we write, coinciding with the lowest bit address, or are we going to write it the other direction? 10, 14, 15, and 25. This would be big Indian because the lowest memory address right here, this guy, is storing the most significant bit, the largest bit value within the block of block of memory here or within our word within the, the largest bit value within what we're trying to store in this word and it's a difficult concept to really explain to someone who's not very familiar with how computers work but i think this illustrates it well it's just really are we writing left to right or are we writing right to left it doesn't really matter because whenever we give a computer something to work with, some memory to work with, we're going to give it all four bits, or actually in today's world, probably 32 or more likely 64 bits. That's going to be a single word. And, and what we're asking when we're saying it's little Indian, it's saying that that's going to be written left to right from the lowest memory address all the way up to the 64th or 0 to 63, as we like to do in computers. Or we're going to pass that word with the memory inside of it written right to left doesn't really matter, but we have to make sure when we're feeding information to a processor that the processor's set up in such a way to receive it, little or big Indian. I hope that's been insightful. I hope uh, that if you've actually come across this concept and you didn't know what it was or weren't able to wrap your head around it, that that kind of explains it a little bit. And if you've never heard of it before, hopefully you find it interesting. Stay tuned for more computer science videos. Thank you.